Catherine, thank you. While many are happy about the warmer temperatures, doctors are warning about health risks it can cause. Our Cam Jandro has more on what you can do to protect yourself when the weather heats up. As the temperatures have risen the past few days in Worcester, so does the risk of heat-related illness. Exhaustion, heat stroke, and dehydration are common occurrences for people who get too hot. Dr. Joseph Slukowski of Carewell Urgent Care says it's important to prepare your body for high temperatures. Know yourself before you go out. Uh, but then while you're there, you want to take frequent breaks. Again, you want fluids with electrolytes, sport drinks. I recommend half and half uh, water, uh, half Gatorade or some of the other electrolyte drinks. According to Slikowski, exertional heat illness is one of the leading causes of death in athletes each year. Symptoms include extreme thirst, confusion, vision and walking problems, and passing out. Slikowski says these types of cases are very dangerous. Again, their core body temperature is 104. They're getting um, neurologic symptoms, seizures. They can be hallucinating. Um, and those need to get cooled down with, by medical personnel very quickly, and there's various ways to do that. Mary O'Malley was one of the many enjoying the elements Friday at Worcester's Quinn Sigamon State Park. She says this weather is a treat, especially after a cold, wet spring. The sun's been magnificent. There's a beautiful breeze today, but I have to tell you, last week it was freezing down here and very windy, almost ready to give it up. Now, Dr. Slikowski says with the dramatic change in weather over the last few days, it's important to let your body get acclimated. He says it takes about a week for your body to get used to the new temperatures, and you should always have fluids if you're going to be out in the heat. In Worcester, I'm Cam Jandro, Worcester News Tonight.